sweetest of all adventures. Enjoy the magical landscape as you see where the rainbow path leads you. You never know whom you might meet along the way. The friendly gingerbread people welcome you as you start your journey along the colorful rainbow path. Oh, hello. Welcome to Gingerbread Alley. I heard you were on a very big adventure. Wonderful. You are going to meet so many great people in the world of Candyland. So I'm going to just design you a little sweater today. A special gumdrop button sweater. Um, I'm just going to measure you for your sweater. Is there anything specific you would like to add? Okay. Would you like an oversized sweater? Okay. I'm just going to write down everything that you want. What color would you like your sweater to be? Great choice. What color would you like your gumdrop buttons to be? Wonderful. Okay. Just sit back and relax. I'm just going to take your measurements. It'll help keep you warm through your travels. And maybe you'll look a little snazzy for the king that you meet. Okay. I'm just going to measure from your neck. All the way to your torso. Can you hold your arms straight out? Wonderful. Okay. Are you excited for your adventure? going to go around your neck area, okay? Just going to wrap this around you here. Would you like your sweater 100% cotton? Okay. I'm going to go around your torso area. Silly me, um, I thought I offered in the beginning. 
Would you like some tea? No? Okay. I lose track of my thoughts sometimes. All the candy that I eat. I bake quite a bit. Would you like some cookies before you go? Okay. I'm sure you're going to get quite a bit of candy through your travels. Everything is edible around here. We're taking um, a living off the land to a whole new level. I'm going to do a little diagram here. You and your sweater. You chose that color for the gumdrops. Going to measure around here. Just relax, keep your arms to your side. Just going to lift them up a little bit. This side. My little gingerbread minions should be making your sweater right about now after I send this in. On your way through your travels, just stop by the shop and pick it up. Okay. I hope you have a wonderful evening and um, safe travel. Plummy will help you on your way. Keep a lookout as you travel throughout Candyland. Is this your first time in Candyland? I thought so. I don't quite recognize your face, traveler. Welcome. I'm Plummy. I am the troll protects and cares for the gingerbread plum tree forest. It's my pride, it's my joy, and they're quite sweet, you know. You can just go up to a tree, just pick one up, pluck, 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 plum, pluck, plum, pluck, plum, all you want, okay? Yes. As I was saying, I'm plummy. Who are you? glad you're a visitor coming to see the queen, but I do have to warn you. 
some of the candy givers in Candyland. They're not as sweet as Plummy. No, actually, some of them are quite foul-tasting candy givers. I don't want to talk about the black licorice, but Plummy promises to only give out the sweetest candies to you and the sweetest of information to keep you safe. Would you like one? You know. <laughs> well, my traveler, as I was telling you, Candyland is quite the beautiful, adventurous realm to travel, but, 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 there's a lot of tricks, maybe as many tricks as there are treats, and I would not be doing you any favors. You might select a jelly bean from the bunch, only to think, oh, this must be a delicious candy apple flavor. Pink lemonade bubblegum, but curses can turn these flavors. Hmm. That one was okay. Curses can turn these flavors upside down, which will certainly turn your stomach upside down. So, let me suggest just be careful who you talk to along your way. But don't be afraid to try the treats. Some of them are pretty good after all. As you travel through the forest, be mindful of falling plums. It is plum season, so plums may fall aplenty. And the forest is quite dense. You may want to take a rest. I know your journey's just beginning, but sometimes the best thing you can do as a traveler is actually wait. Yes. I know it sounds strange, but trust me, Plummy has protected these plums her whole life, and I have seen what lies ahead of you. So let's calm your mind, calm your body, and prepare you to travel, okay? So just listen to the sound of Plummy's voice. Give me a big inhale. That's very good. And as you exhale, release nerves for your journey. Traveling can be scary, especially in a new world, but there's nothing to worry about. Plummy's got you. Take a big breath in. Just imagine, let it go. The gumdrop rivers, the candy cane forests. Take a big breath in. going to be your key. Staying sharp, staying steady, 
will prepare you for anything that comes along in Candyland. So breathe with me. And smell the sweet, sweet sugary smell of plums. I can almost taste them, almost salivate at the smell of them. Breathe in. out. Can you just smell all the nature, the beauty, the earth, the life that came together to build this forest? <sighs> I know I can. It's so beautiful. And now, traveler, you have all the knowledge that Plummy can pass on. Maybe I can tell you which plums are the best and which ones are not ripe yet, but otherwise, I don't think Plummy has any more to tell you. So, do you think you're ready? Do you think you're ready to set out, travel, find a new, discover candies unknown? I know you are. Well, in that case, I humbly welcome you to the gingerbread plum forest. Come on in. Next, you'll enter the peppermint forest. Imagine giant red and white peppermint sticks, as tall as trees. But who would live in such a minty place? Miss Mint, of course. She'll be happy to clear the path for you as you travel along. Hi! Oh my goodness gracious! Hello! Hello, hello, it is just so good to see you. We don't get a lot of visitors all the way out here. I'm so elated. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> that is such a wonderful name. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Peppermint Forest. I'm Mrs. Mint. <laughs> Well, a very sweet and frigid hug and kiss to you. A hug and a kiss to you. <laughs> it's so sweet around here. So tell me, what are you out here for? What are you doing? Oh, of course. Of course you'd want to see the king. It's been a long time since I've been able to make it up to the palace myself. Wait, 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 wait. Before you say anything else. You look a little cold. <laughs> I know it can get chilly all the way out here amongst all the um, candy trees. So we have unlimited hot chocolate that I would love for you to have. Yeah, unlimited. Oh, it gets so cold and frigid out here that we want something to always keep us warm. Oh, um, I personally don't get that cold. I think I'm just used to the weather out here, but you look a little nippy, so... Hot chocolate? Awesome. How about I'm just gonna put it right here? Perfect. You take it, relax, take your time, and get warm for just a moment, okay? <laughs> Absolutely, it's no bother at all. I just was out here trimming the trees. Do you want to see? <sighs> I love coming out here in the solitude of the winter and the candy snow crunching beneath my feet as I walk around. You see, candy canes are strong and on unlimited source and supply. We use these as utensils, building tools. I even use candy canes to chop down other candy canes. I thought that was pretty neat, but okay. <laughs> um, anyways, I should probably let you know about where you're heading to next after this, if you're going to try to get all the way to the king. So here's the thing. 
almost every single person on your route is going to be sweet. There's one who isn't, though. But, but don't worry, you don't come up against her next. Um, you already saw Plummy, right? <laughs> you saw Plummy? You know, I never considered plums to be a candy until I met Plummy. So, Plummy, then me, and then after this is Jolly. <sighs> and oh boy, is he Jolly for gumdrops. You like gumdrops? <sighs> Jolly does not only dream of gumdrops dancing in his head, but actually likes to take the gumdrops and play around and dance with them sometimes. <laughs> he loves his gumdrops. Probably just as much as I love my candy canes. <sighs> He'll be so great to me. But it's who's after that that you have to be careful for. Lady Licorice. Right? I don't even know that many people who like licorice. I'm not a big fan myself, and I'm definitely not a big fan of hers. She's evil. She's mean. Bitter. If you can steer clear, I recommend it. Oh, but you're going to go see the king, and the path leads right through. Hmm. Weapon? Okay, don't think of it as a weapon. A, um, like a Swiss Army cane. Okay, okay. I believe in you. I'm sure you're going to do great things on this journey. You can handle Miss Licorice just fine, I bet. But it's after that that... It just gets better and better and better. Yeah, because after that, you get to meet Grandma Nut. Oh my gosh. You have never met someone so sweet, so wonderful, so comforting, and a little bit nutty. <laughs> oh, I'm... Sorry that you're so frigid and cold here. I hope the hot chocolate helps to warm you up, but in case you're still feeling a little bit of a chill, I promise that Grandma Nut is absolutely going to warm you up with nothing but her love. Enjoy it while you're there. And, you know, pretty similar to a candy cane, I think, is a lollipop. So you'll be heading on over to the princess, Princess Lolly. The first royalty you get to see, you'll be so close to the end of your destination. But which do you like more, lollipops or candy canes? They're similar. They are totally similar because you just lick them until they're gone. Well, no. I don't know how many licks get to the center of the lollipop. Okay, and no, I don't know how many licks are used to finish the candy cane, but let's move on because I'm sure Princess Lolly will tell you all about that. Oh, before I totally forget, I will finish the rest of where you're going. Do you want any hot chocolate to go? No? Are you sure? I promise you're going to want it when you get to Queen Frostine. The queen of all ice cream? On the ice cream sea? My personal hero? Oh, I can only hope my land stay as frosty and frigid and beautiful as hers. And as her. She's beautiful. But don't get too caught up staring at the beauty of the queen. Because trust me, you're going to encounter a Big slow down. Gloppy. Oh! Gloppy, gloppy, gloppy. You know, earlier I said there's only one bad person on your route to the king, and that was Lady Licorice. Gloppy isn't bad. It's not his fault 
it's not his fault that he is the way he is, but as a giant glob of molasses, he tries his hardest, but all you can do is slow you down. How can you get away from... Get away from Gloppy? You know, part of the reason why I haven't visited in so long is because I don't know. But I bet you can figure a way out. And you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to because the last stop is King Candy. And you've made it. And you can relax and enjoy all the Candy Kingdom can offer. And we'll all be so proud of you. We will all be so proud of you. Are you warm enough yet? I don't really want you to leave, but I'm excited for you to finish this journey. I wish you luck. And I believe in you. And come back for some hot chocolate anytime. At the edge of the peppermint forest lie the gumdrop mountains. There never was a place as bouncy as this. Jolly is here to make sure you don't lose your way. Hi, I'm Jolly and you must be... Right, oh my goodness, I heard a rumor that you are on the way to meet the king. All right. That's quite a big adventure. Well, I'm glad that your path led you to me. I was kind of in the middle of something. I was thinking of what some of my favorite things in the whole wide world are. And I know I love candy, but specifically, I really like like gummy bears like on my necklace and I really like <gasps> lollipops. Not to brag, but I do have the biggest lollipop in all of Candyland. Make of that what you will. And my favorite of all, gumdrops. I was actually in the middle of counting them. Did you want to see some of them? Okay, I won't keep you long, but let me just show you. I'll start with my absolute favorites. These are sprinkle gumdrops. Sprinkle gumdrops. How cool is that? You mixed two candies together to make one and they look so pretty. Sometimes I don't know if I want to use them for jewelry or if I want to eat them. Kind of, sort of, both. Maybe I'll just use them for jewelry and then eventually I'll just eat them. But anyway, look how cute. Aren't they precious? So these are my all-time favorites. Let me show you my other ones. I really like these that look like some sort of mint candy. Oops, not these. I'll tell you about those in just a second. Okay, these that look like little mint candies. How cool. And now I'll show you the one that tried to sneak in there. I love these little glitter ones too. Have you ever heard of glitter gumdrops? They're especially rare and I have like and different kinds of glitter gumdrops. I do. This is one of them. Right? How cool. And I also have these shiny ones, sort of shimmering white, pearl, and pink. I feel like these probably taste like strawberry milk, but I don't know. And I'm curious, but also, oh, I just don't want to lose them. <sighs> we'll see. Maybe I'll eat them another day. But you know what? You seem really, really nice. So I'm actually going to give you one for the road. Okay? This is one of my favorites. But 
I'm really glad that we crossed paths today. So this one's for you, okay? There you go. Oh goodness, I'm gonna miss it, but I feel like it's in good hands. Anyway, um, oh, let's see, do I have any others I can show you? Ooh, more glitter ones. Like I said, I have a lot of them. These are tiny, which are honestly even more rare. Tiny. So, these are, oh, I almost forgot to show you my clear shimmering ones. Aren't they so cool? Well, those are my gun drops. At least the ones that I'm counting right now. I have even more back at home in my dresser. But for now, I've got these. Oops. I just got so excited. I just got so excited. <laughs> Oops. So those are some of my gum drops. There's a whole handful. Isn't that cool? Well, I'm sure on your adventures you'll collect a lot of them. And if you find any rare ones, you bring them to me, okay? Okay, cool. Okay, before you go, I do have a really good tip to tell you. I know of a shortcut I know. I know. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, but you can't, you can't tell anyone, okay? You can't tell a single soul. Deal? Pinky promise? Okay, great. Okay, so when you get to the purple path, so you'll see the purple path, and, 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 and when you get there, when you're at the purple path, when you're at the purple path, um, you're going to, you're gonna just take a left, an immediate left, like right when you're on the purple path, and you're gonna take an immediate left, and you're gonna tick, 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 just like walk through it. I know it's gonna look weird, and it's gonna be like there's a lot of greenery, but I promise, okay, I promise. So you're gonna on the, on the purple path, you're gonna tick, 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 off up to the left of the purple path, and then eventually you're going to reach another purple path, but it's not the same purple path. It's not the same purple path. Then the one that you started off, even though it can look that way, it is a little bit confusing, but I promise. So then after you get out and you get to the new purple path, you're going to make another left and then you'll be back on track, but you'll have saved a ton of time. I know. I know. Anyway, I'll, I'll let you be on your way and, you know, to make up for the time I took, I gave you the shortcut. Anyway. It was so cool meeting you. You've got to come back this way and tell me how it is when you meet the king. Okay? Okay, great. Bye! Now it's on to the licorice forest. The tricky lady licorice lives here. And she's nothing like the other sweet characters living in Candyland. Be careful, she may try to block your way. Well, 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 who might this be? I don't think I've ever seen you around here before. Wonderful, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Lady Licorice. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of me before. Now, what is your mission for today? You look very, very busy. Oh. You want to meet that fuzzy old guy. I see. Oh, oh no, no, he's, he's fine. It's just, um, not to be rude or anything in the slightest. It's just, wouldn't you also prefer it if someone in such a high and important position, if they possessed a certain amount of style and fashion sense. You don't mind about those kind of things, of course you don't. You're very kind, I suppose. You see, if I were the Queen of Candyland, I would give this whole place a little redo. 
if you know what I mean. Everything would look immaculate and stunning. But it seems like these lens are fine how they are. Now, darling, if you want to move on, um, what are all those crumbs on your garments here? It's sugar? Okay. Well, it might be um, an interesting look to talk to some peasants, I suppose. But, um, darling, would you mind if I got rid of them for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. You've got some stuck in your hair, I can see here. I wanted to get super sticky. Mm -hmm. On this side as well. Okay. Mm. So, great day today, isn't it? <laughs> Would be a better day if I were the Queen of Candyland. Mm. Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay. There we go. Your hair is freed. Now we just need to um, pluck out these little bits here. Yeah, just pluck, 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 Almost done, just hold still. Pluck, 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 pluck. Hmm. Pluck. I think we're all done. Much better, don't you think? <laughs> it's always a great day to be styled by Lady Licorice, I know. <laughs> um, okay then, let's have a look here. Everything is Nice and pressed flat here. Good. And now, actually, would you perhaps like to take something with you for the king? I have this uh, this little cocktail that I made earlier, a licorice um, scented, of course. No, this isn't poison. Don't be silly. Why would I poison the king? <sighs> kind of rude to assume such a thing, wouldn't you say? Well, I mean, you don't have to take this with you. I mean, if you will, oh, how kind of you. <laughs> uh, no, 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 don't you try it just yet. Um, no, no, it's just fine. Um, you know what? It's, it's, it's fine. I'll find another way to give it to him myself, that is. And, um, in the meantime, maybe you could tell everyone how wonderful it would be to have Lady Licorice as a queen. Queen Licorice. Or the Queen Candy. Anyhow, you better get going now. <laughs> I'm very, very busy myself today, you see, so it was wonderful meeting you, my darling. <laughs> so don't trip. <laughs> Be very careful, all right? And um, yes, yeah, say hello to everyone else. Shoo shoo. Friendly Grandma Nut is full of surprises, and she's waiting to greet you at Peanut Acres. Oh, 
Sugar right off of you. You've got some on your ears, so let me just... <laughs> 
just past Peanut Acres lie the Lollipop Woods. Here you'll find Lolly happily dancing about with her magical lollipop. Oh, hi there. I am Princess Lolly. Have you already met my mother and father? Oh, yes. Oh, you have. Yes, my mother is Queen Frosty, and she is so beautiful and lovely. I want to be just like her. And King Candy, of course. We have similar interests. He likes candy. I like lollipops. Lollipops are candy. But no, not all candies are lollipops. This is true. So my mother keeps giving me these ice cream cones. And I, I, I really, really appreciate it. But it's just so cold. And I have all my own lollipops to, you know, take care of. And... You know, it's busy. You know what? I think you have potential. I think you could be a lollipop. Do you think you'll be a long lollipop? Or do you think you're a swirly? Hmm. Swirly lollipops have to be very, very sturdy. Because one little crack and then the whole lollipop's aesthetic is just ruined. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Let me see. Let's go over here and over here. Let's see, you have an eye. If you just swirl this way, then maybe, yeah, I, I definitely think you have potential. And, not to mention, you look very sweet. It's true. Who told you you were sour? Although, I do think we have a land full of sour gummy candy. Don't worry, I know you belong here. You're colorful, and you are so polite. Lollipop Land would love to have you. Why don't you just stay with me? We can prance through the lollipop forest. We can pick lollipop bouquets. And if you want to ever visit my mom and dad, it's only a little hop, skip, and a jump away. I think... The die roll is about seven each way. Oh, do you really have to go that soon? I didn't even let you try one of my lollipops. Here, my intuition is guessing that you want this one. Here, take it. Very sweet. I have a lot of these every single day, so <laughs> make sure to have enough. They are rather hard, so I do not recommend chewing on them. You might break a tooth, and then we'll have a liability lawsuit. Oh, you. <laughs> I'm so glad you were able to stop by. Not to worry. I'm sure the others wouldn't mind if you spent an extra turn or two here. And then, you know, we could even visit the Fud Roads. The Fud Roads are amazing. You would really enjoy it if you like candy. I sure do. But, of course, as you can see, my favorite candy is a lollipop. Well, if you must go, I won't keep you, but do tell my family hello when you see them. Oh, you're shocked that I don't look like my picture? Uh, well, a few years have passed. People do grow older, you know. <laughs> okay, well... It was great meeting you. I hope to see you again. Yes, of course. I'll be here. In lollipop land. Just waiting. All right. Have a safe trip. Call back soon.
up the path from the lollipop woods is the ice cream sea, Queen Frostine's favorite place. Watch her as she glides gracefully across the sparkling ice. Isn't she beautiful? Hello there, sweetie. It's nice to officially meet you. Oh yes, I've heard a great deal about you. From my friend, Princess Lolly. She said you'd be stopping by. Allow me to introduce you. This is Ice Cream Sea. And I am Queen Frosty. The pleasure's all mine. So, what brings you to the sea? You wish to reach King Candy. I'm sure you've heard all about him by now. Let's just say King Candy is quite eccentric, but a very merciful king. I'm sure he'll be able to assist you, and it sounds like you'll have a wonderful You're almost there, Traveler. King Candy should be your next stop, though you might run into quite the character before that as well. One known as Gloppy. They sure do like their chocolate. Just be careful or you'll be in a little bit of a sticky situation, if you know what I mean. I've heard. You've had quite the journey. Some interesting characters you've met, I've heard. And I trust your visit with Princess Lolly went well. Yes, that grandma nut is very sweet as well. And Miss Mint, and oh, you ran into Lady Lick. I trust after such a perilous and exciting journey that you might be feeling a little bit famished. No, allow me to assist you. After all, what kind of queen would I be if I didn't care about all the wonderful civilians of Candyland? <laughs> so, here by the sea, we have all kinds of ice cream or shaved ice, and I'm sure after a long, sticky, and sweet journey, you could probably use a little bit of refreshments, yes? Very well. How would you like some shaved ice, then? Of course, my treat. I do apologize that ice cream sea is a bit more on the chilly side, but you can trust that it will be sweet and it'll be refreshing. Are you doing all right? You're not too cold. Okay, very good. Hmm. If you are feeling a little bit chilly, I can really quick do a little magic to warm you up. Okay, close your eyes for me. There we go. <laughs> Did that help a bit? Good. It was a shielding spell. It should keep you from feeling the cold, brisk air. Anytime. Now, you just relax. You'll help me to get your treat, alright? Will you be staying long, or are you on your way out after? Yes, it has been a long journey, I'm sure. All right. Just relax. Hmm.
No. Will you be taking this to go then? Or eating here with us? We do have a lovely hotel that you can stay in as well if you'd like to kick your feet up some more and take a little rest. Okay. Then the to go cup it is. Now feel free to stop by any time. The queen knows all of her members of her city. Now, let me go ahead and just scoop that in for you, okay? Perfect. I prepared a lovely bit of shaved ice for you. One moment here while I get some flavoring for you, all right? Perfect. All right, I'm back and I've gotten you some yummy flavors that you can choose from. Let's just finish. Filling your cone up here. Maybe one more on top. That should do it. Now, I did bring you some flavors to choose from. We have a cherry flavor. <laughs> we also have a wonderful cotton candy flavor. Personally, this one is my favorite. <laughs> we have a blue raspberry, which I also really enjoy as well. And lastly, great. <laughs> so, which flavor would you like? I suppose you could do multiple if that's what you were wanting. Ooh. Very interesting combination. Of course, I'd be happy to oblige. Let me just get that for you. Oh, 
Alright, first we'll start with some cotton candy. <laughs> yes, the wind around here is a bit chilly, but I trust the magic spell on you is helping you maintain your warmth. Wonderful. Now, let's just add the cotton candy here first. Mm, it smells so sweet. And next, a bit of blue raspberry. Mm. That should do it. I do have some colorful straws that you can choose from, and they are edible. Personally, I like the pink cotton candy one, but we do have blue raspberry, lime, and lemon, too. Wonderful choice. And a spoon to make you your very own magic ice cream royalty. Here you are. Enjoy. Problem. And if you hold still, I'll go ahead and I'll place a little magic on it as well. And with every bite, it should restore you. So you're feeling stronger, healthier, and ready to go on your journey. Alright, one moment. And there we go. Really, the pleasure's all mine. However, I will let you go ahead and enjoy your refreshments, as I should be on my way to see more civilians. <laughs> Good luck on your journey, traveler. I'm sure you'll see King Candy very soon. And remember, watch out for that gloppy. I hope I catch you on your way back. Take care. Goodbye. The Chocolate Swamp is next on the Rainbow Path, and where you'll find everyone's goopy, gooey friend, Gloppy. Don't be scared when Gloppy greets you. Just give her a big wave and a smile, and you'll make her day. Oi, what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just playing with you. I don't really care. In fact, I actually rather like visitors. I don't seem to get them very often, though. I don't know what the problem is. I'm a delight, I assure you. I guess some people don't like it because it's a bit... sticky. But they're really just looking at a bog for a bog and not seeing that it's a bog made of chocolate. Pure chocolate. What could be better than a place made full of chocolate? <laughs> That's a mystery to me. Well, uh, what, um... What are you doing? I must swamp today. It's a fine, lovely day. Just passing through. Just passing through. Everyone's always just passing through. No one wants to actually stay and enjoy chocolate. Yeah, that's the best dessert in the world, and yet somehow people always have other places they gotta be. 
Oh, well, of course chocolate's the best. Name for me one other confectionery that is quite as versatile as chocolate. Go ahead, I'll wait. You can't, can you? See, there's so many different things that you can do with chocolate. And even just the different types of chocolate are almost endless. You got your milk chocolate, you got your dark chocolate, you got your super dark chocolate, you got your white chocolate, which actually isn't really chocolate at all, but don't tell the chocolate dandelions that they'd get sad. There's so many different flavours. And then you can also pair chocolate with so many different flavours too, it's amazing. Chocolate with mint, chocolate with caramel, chocolate with fruit, chocolate with peanut butter, chocolate with salt, chocolate with pretzels, chocolate with cookies. So many things are good with chocolate, or made better actually with chocolate. And yet people just walk through the swamp just passing through. What? Well, if you don't mind me asking, if you are just passing through, then why aren't you sitting there? Oh. <laughs> You got stuck, didn't you? <laughs> Everyone always gets stuck right there. Oh, do you know what it is? I might as well just put a big spot on the road saying, don't step here or you're going to get stuck for a while. <laughs> it's like no one knows how to walk in a bog anymore. Yeah. Well, that means that now I can tell you more about chocolate. What? Want me to get you unstuck? But then you're going to leave, aren't you? I, I, I don't get visitors very often. Wouldn't you stay for just a bit? Talk about chocolate with me? Oh, you're on the way to the castle. Well, that must be very important indeed, huh? Hmm. Castle, that's, um, it's quite a fun place. <laughs> it's been a while since I was allowed to go there. At least since I've been invited. Last time I was there, someone said something about me being a bit, um, messy. Yeah. Oh, well. Too many rules, anyway. I prefer my chocolate swamp, <laughs> if you don't mind. Y you'd like me to get you unstuck? <sighs> All right, well, I suppose we wouldn't want to keep the king waiting, would we? All right, fine. Uh, where's my feather? I need my chocolate feather. Yeah, no, you can't, you cannot get chocolate unstuck without something else that's chocolate. What about that thing? Huh? Oh! <laughs> there it is. That's a lovely chocolate feather. See, look, it's got all those different flavours of chocolate in there. So, you just hold nice and still. I'm just going to use this and brush, brush, brush away some of that sticky stuff that you've got in there. Just brush that away. Brush, brush, brush. Brush down here a bit. I'll get you unstuck in no time. But before you do leave, you really should um, enjoy some of the chocolate that's here. Have you had any of the bark yet? Oh, well, you've got to try the tree bark. Yeah, it's all pure chocolate, of course. Hold on, just a moment, just a moment. Let me, uh, let me see. Ah, here's a good piece. Here we go. Now look at that. You tell me another dessert that looks as pretty as that does. <laughs> See, you got the milk chocolate and you got some white chocolate on top. I think there's some nuts in there too. Mm-hmm. Quite good. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, all right. Yeah. Can you unstuck? Don't worry. Maybe you don't like things that are quite a little fancy, eh? Are you more of a chocolate purist? Well, I could get you some, uh, some really good dark chocolate. Yeah, I'll save some of my best stuff for those who really appreciate it. Right, don't tell anyone about this. Okay, let's see what this one is. I just picked it from a chocolate plant this morning. Well, of course, chocolate grows in plants. Where else do you think it comes from? Factories? <laughs> That's what the chocolate swamp is for. Mm. 
Mm. Look at that. Let's see how strong is this one. 72% dark. 72% cocoa. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Amazing. What would you like a bite? Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right, fine. Just, just trying to share my chocolate with you. Fine, I'll get you unstuck. You must be in a hurry. Oh, I guess you don't want to leave the king wait. Just another minute. Let me just get you all unstuck here. I'll brush some of that off your face a bit more. There we go. There. Well, I think you're looking all stuck, unstuck now. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful where you step in the swamp. I wouldn't have want you to get stuck again, especially if you're in such a hurry to go meet the king. Well, if, if you've got a few minutes at least, we, we could keep talking about chocolate. We haven't even started talking about baked goods yet. Yeah, yeah there's, there's chocolate cookies, there's chocolate cakes, there's chocolate cupcakes, there's chocolate brownies, there's chocolate fudge, there's chocolate... Hey, where are you going? Hmm. Oh well. Your magical journey has taken you to the Candy Castle, home of the one and only King Candy, the ruler of this wonderful enchanted land. Greetings, King Candy calls out with a wave of his royal gumball staff. Please stay a while or come back when you have more time. You're always welcome in Candyland. Oh, I love lollipops. I love them so much. They make me happy. How did you get in here? <gasps> you beat Candyland. Somebody finally beat Candyland. <sighs> I thought when I made this game such a long time ago that it would be easy for boys and girls to come up and down the path and you get a little color and you just come skipping on down. But apparently it's not easy. Apparently it's quite difficult. But you... You have made it the first to make it to King Candy's castle. Welcome. Now, there are some rewards. And, uh, of course, I'm going to... You look like you've been through a, a bit of a, a tussle. I'll check you out, make sure you're okay. And then I shall knight ye. Knight of Candyland. That was unofficial. It hasn't happened yet. It's a different lollipop I do that with, actually, so please just wait, okay? So, let's start with your first reward. Are you ready? Let me go get it. Heart cookies. Aren't these delicious? Well, they are, trust me. I guess you haven't had them yet. They look delicious. But open up. Open that little mouth of yours up. Here we go. Ah, the first one. These also have some healing properties because I figured it'd be a little rough getting up here, especially when you got to deal with like Miss Licorice and stuff. She's nasty. She's, I allow her to stay here because, you know, I love licorice, but she really is kind of a nasty lady. Uh, so let's see. On your journey here, you started with Plummy. How was he? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And how was uh, Miss Mint? Delightful. This Miss Mint is just so wonderful. And I just love candy canes. I love minty candy. I love all candy, which is why I'm the king of candy. But in particular, big fan of mint. So great. Yeah. After Miss Mint, uh, I believe you stopped by, was it Jolly? Jolly? And, and how are they? Wonderful. Yeah. Live up to their name, I suppose. After that, I know. Lady Licorice. Uh, and how was that? Like, I, it, I needed to make it a bit of a challenge to get to the castle. Clearly, I've made it, like, 
a big challenge because you're the first one that's actually made it. So, like, do I need to tone down Lady Licorice a little bit, you think? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll go talk to her. Sometimes she's not very nice to talk to, but I can do it. I'm the king. I'm confident. Yeah, and let's see, after after Lady Licorice, I believe that's Grandma Nut. Yeah, how was that? Mm-hmm. She give her uh, did she give you any of her, her homemade nutter butters? Yeah, those are real, real good. I love a good nutter butter. Grandma Grandma Nuts Nutter Butters. Uh, they're just really, really good. And then after Grandma Nut, I think you go to Princess Lolly. Yeah, and was she just the most adorable kid, wasn't she? Oh, just you just see her skipping up and down the path and she's just so adorable yeah and then after that the queen of my heart queen frostine she is wonderful and i do love yummy frosty stuff too so you know that's just a nice little bonus so i'm gonna i'm gonna check you out because those cookies don't seem to be doing the whole job i think i think maybe you need a little bit more patching up okay so every good king every good king has a Oh, pin light. I'm just going to check out. Just see if your eyes are dilated. See maybe if you got a concussion or something at any point. Uh, especially if you make any of those shortcuts, you go real fast. You just, they whip you right to the next color. And uh, it, can, it can cause some damage. Um, let's see. Go ahead. Yeah, just look at the light. Look at the light there. There we go. I'm going to come in from the other side now. There we go. And we're going to go top to bottom now. Uh-huh. How you feeling? Is the light bugging you at all? Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and follow us. I'm going to do a little figure eight infinity sign here. Just follow that around as best you can. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go up to the top corner here. There we go. And bottom corner over here. There we go. Follow that. Now I need to tell you how many, I need, I need you to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, but don't look directly at my hand. Look at the light and just out of the, you know, peripheral, per, per, I'm a king. I don't, I don't, I don't worry about like eye doctor stuff. Peripheral, peripheral out of your division. That's when you're not looking right at it. Okay. Just tell me, tell me how many fingers. Okay. Don't, you looked at my hand. I really need you. This is serious. We're taking this serious. Okay. I'm holding up different. Okay. Let's start this over. Okay. Because I don't know what I'm doing. We're going to do the light and then don't look at the hand. Okay. How many fingers is that? Okay. Great. Now I'm going to switch hands over here. Look at the light. Good job. And how many fingers am I holding up? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I think you're doing okay. We'll check that a couple more times, though. Let's go ahead and look at this light. And how many fingers am I holding up? Mm-hmm, excellent. And I'll be shocked if you fail this one. But let's go here. And how many fingers? No fingers. Good job. You did it. Proud of you. Okay, I did notice a little cut on your hand over here. I need you to go ahead and we're just gonna we're just gonna slip this on your hand here this is a uh i invented it actually it's made out of sugar and we're just gonna slip this right kind of like this and you're just gonna wear it like this for about three months and you should be fine okay so let's go ahead and just slip that on your hand here there we go okay there we go oh you should be okay you can give give it a little bit of time um I gotta say, you looked a little disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, I know I don't, I don't look like uh, I'm portrayed in the pictures. I had them doll me up a little bit, but you know, it. Santa Claus doesn't look like you know the way Coca Cola makes him look. You'd be disappointed if you saw the real Saint Nick. You know, I'm just kind of a crazy guy at the end of a, at the end of a, a game who just really, really loves candy. Speaking of which, you want to hear a song I'm working on? Okay. Well, I, yes or no, I'm going to show you anyways, because I'm pretty stoked about it. Okay, so I need to, I'm going to summon my guitar real quick. So here we go.
Wasn't that cool? Did you see that magic happen just now? Yeah. Pays to be the candy king. I want you to like rate this on a scale of like one to ten. We'll get crazy. Let's say a scale of one to ten. <clears throat> Sugar cane and gum drops. Do you love candy as much as me? That makes you the candy king. Of course, that song assumes that you like candy more than me because you like candy more than me then you have to be the candy king so what'd you think okay needs a little work okay that's fine that's fine that's fine you know it's not my main thing i just like to eat candy that's kind of my main thing all right let's get this guitar out of here let's all right i'm a little dizzy after that i gotta be honest with you it's time to knight you. A knight of Candyland. A knight of the Candy Kingdom. Kneel before me. You're not kneeling. You don't kneel. Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. We'll work with what we got. <clears throat> I now officially dub thee Knight of the Candy Kingdom. You may come and go now as you please and eat as much candy as you want while you're here. I just can't help myself. It's just so yummy. Oh, I'll never get old. You can actually just like lick the, the, the castle walls too. Everything here is made of candy. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, come and go as you please into my candy kingdom. It'd be great to see you from time to time. You can stay as long as you want. Um, and maybe help me write some music. Would you be down for that? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'll see you around, I guess. Hmm. Chris Cristante, Misfit 86, Mitchell Gazer, Ben Ginn, Striker 0 six Christian Bremel, would you kindly John Verdick, Joshua 